Good morning, it is Sunday morning. We're all ready, it's half 10. And we were planning today on going to Sirencester, and we still might later, but yesterday we didn't manage to, oh, it's so pretty here, look. Didn't it say on the entrance to the village something like, founded AD 999? Yep. Something like that. I'm going to see if I can see it. I noticed it last night. This though, this is that building that we saw on the walk and it's called Edward College. So I'm not sure what that is, but look at these buildings. They are so old. There must be, I think it's this sign up here. I'm going to try and see what it says. Yeah, Saxon Parish Charter, AD 999, South Kearney. Isn't that incredible? The plan was to go just straight to Sirencester. But <laughs> I didn't, we didn't, we ran out of time to go to Delsford and like Stow on the Wold. And we also really wanted to go to Burford and Bybury. And even though they're kind of like further away from where we're staying, sorry, I had a bit of an issue with the sat nav. Yeah, we, we haven't been to those places and that just was recommended a lot. So we're going to go to Bybury, drive on the way to Dalesford, go to Burford and then go to Dalesford and then see what time it is. And I think we're gonna change our reservation with the pub in Sirencester just for a bit later, if they have um, that option. Cause I think we booked it for one, I think that's a bit early. So we'll try and change it to like three or four or something. Yeah, have a lovely day out. Not as um, activious as yesterday, a bit more relaxed. And- Is that a new word? What? Activious. I didn't say activious. Oh, what did you say? I said not as active as yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that word. See that? So we're now remembering we stayed here in 2015 and I remember both of us walking around this church and it was really it's really frosty quiet morning wasn't it yeah and we all like we went behind the back of the holiday let that was staying just around the corner yeah. and went for like a little stroll around the church and there's like there was like a field at the back of our house wow everything is just so beautiful it's just ridiculous like I've never oh yeah it's incredible. What in the Lord of the Rings is this? It's like, feels Lord of the Rings. It doesn't feel Pride and Prejudice here, does it? Because it looks too old. Huh. Looks like medieval. What in the Poldark is this? Poldark's in Scotland though. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Not Poldark, sorry, um, Outlander. Yeah. What in the Outlander is this? The Outlander's in Scotland. Your yellow jacket is killing the aesthetic. <laughs> oh. We're now in Burford, which was only about 10, 15 minutes from Bybury. Is it Bybury or Bibbury? I think it's Bybury, what do you think it is? Bybury. <laughs> and this is full of shops, full of places to eat very beautiful driving in so something a bit different because other places have been like small villages it looks the houses look a bit wonky yes i like it yeah so we're going to do a bit of shopping and looking and browsing they say time is a healer just you wait and see the problem is for me Oh, you'll be 
Dalesford. It's so real cozy in our little seat in Dalesford. I've just ordered a salad and Alex has got them for a soup and a glass of wine and a beer. It's nice in here, isn't it? Very busy. It's like you arrive and it looks very quiet because where we parked was where the spa is. And I was almost like, is this the right place? And then you come inside and there's just like so many people here. This is like so beautiful, so posh, so so much interior inspiration. I counted 15 Range Rovers in the car park. It's very fancy pants. It's so beautiful. I'd love to come here next time we come to the Cotswolds, come and have a spa treatment. The, the spa looked really nice, didn't it? Mm. Cheers. Heavenly. Oh my god. Wow. Look at this. I am just in awe. I've never been somewhere this incredible before. Everything is out of this world beautiful. So worth a visit. Honestly, if you like interiors, this is the place to go. Smells incredible. Just got back in the car. That was so lovely. Um, such an experience. I really loved Dalesford. I was thinking before we came, I was like, is it just going to be a bit overhyped? Because I've heard so many people talk about it. Loads of you recommended it when I said, what should we do in the Cotswolds? There was so many of you that, that said, go to Dalesford. Um, and I'm really glad it like is just so up my street. Not Alex's thing at all, like he could not care less. He thinks this kind of thing is really pretentious. <laughs> it's not his vibe, but he thought the garden centre bit was nice. But um, Alex is very much like, this is just like a place where you've, someone's cu curated loads of beautiful things and just added an extra price tag, which is true. But I like that because I feel like someone's gone to a lot of effort to create such a beautiful space and it's like a, just a really nice if you don't spend any money just go and have um a drink and a wander around it's so beautiful and really inspiring and it's given me loads of ideas for the house so ideas for outside i feel like this year i really want to focus on the outside because we've been doing stuff inside the front of our house is so rubbish at the minute because we've been renovating it's just become a bit of a We've just got like piles of building work stuff um, because of the garage being done. And the front door looks a bit worn and we want to repoint and get rid of the um, paint on our house. And it, um, things like, you know, there's not, the, the flower beds don't look very good. And the place we're staying at, uh, Philly Island, it's really beautiful outside. There, even just down to, there's a sink, like a recycled sink, I guess something that she's just got from a junkyard or reclamation yard. And she's put this tiny little sink underneath some taps, which is perfect for washing your dog. And I think we're going to do that outside um, our house where the shed is, because that's where the tap is. I want to get a sink off of Facebook Marketplace and put that underneath and secure it in place for washing Roxy when we get back from walks. She had like nice um, big troughs like um, for farm animals filled with plants, which look so lovely. And there's loads of things in there like the olive trees and just the wood and the really old um wooden stools and the mix between i think the mix between mediterranean and sort of rustic old furniture antique furniture works so beautifully in the cotswolds because of that um cotswold stone that yellow stone is so similar to stone or colors of buildings in the mediterranean and i feel like that works that blends so well um probably not so well in our home 
because I feel like in Cornwall obviously the granite is much more grey. Anyway I'm rambling about um, architecture and interiors and design and stuff but it really gets my juices flowing and I, I don't know that everyone's like this like Alex doesn't care about this kind of thing at all like he could not care less but for me interiors and the way things look and art and architecture and homes have always always inspired me and make me really excited they just make me in a good mood so I'm in a good mood and uh, when we go home I'm really looking forward to the things we're going to do at the house this year and I feel very inspired if I hadn't already said <laughs> my battery's flashing so I'm sure Alex will be back home Hopefully I've got more battery in my bag. <laughs> we seem to be having the worst luck on this trip for vegan food. So did we say this the first night? I think we did say it. Yeah, the, the first night we had the issue where we um, went to that place. I don't even remember what happened, what happened? They said they had pizza on the website. Oh yeah, so they didn't have a vegan so option. Vegan options, and then something happened yesterday, didn't it? Saturday had a bit of a, I thought the den we could sit in. That wasn't that bad, that bad yeah, though. Then, we ended up- But then we went to another pub and they said they couldn't serve food outside or they had no spaces yeah. anymore. Yeah, so it was like the, the breakfast and the lunch was a bit like, oh, so yeah. we didn't eat yesterday until what, lunch until like four? Yes. And um, yeah, we booked, I booked this place, the Bear Inn in Sirencester, and I'm gonna call them out because this, <laughs> I do not recommend them because I booked this like two weeks ago when I was booking my birthday trip. I put on the booking two times vegan I rang up earlier to change the time and I said, can we come a bit later? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. And I said, oh, um, do you have a vegan roast on? Cause I wanted to double check because sometimes they don't have it because it runs out. Um, and she was like, yeah, yeah, we've got the vegan roast. So we get there, 20 minutes have passed. No one's come over and got our drinks. Eventually she comes over and she's like, I'm really sorry, has anyone got your drink yet? And I was like, no. And then I was like, oh, what's the veggie or vegan roast this week? And then she was like, oh no, sorry, we don't have a vegan roast this week, it's just veggie. And I was like, Oh, I asked earlier on the phone um, and asked if you had a vegan roast and you, you said you had one today, are you sure? And she was like, no, no, no vegan roast, just the risotto. And I was like, oh, well, we came here for a roast. So um, just don't worry about the drinks. I think we're gonna go find somewhere else. And then she wasn't even like apologetic. She was just like, okay. And she just walked off. I always feel like whenever I plan in advance, things go wrong. And when I'm spontaneous, things work out so much better. I'm just not gonna book restaurants and pubs from now on because every time I do, they let you down. It's just one of those things, uh, but we're in Siren Sester and it's beautiful, so it doesn't matter really. It's just, um, no. I think that in the future, I think because vegan food is a little bit more tricky, I think that's the thing. I think you have to be a bit more spontaneous with where yeah. you eat. So you look online and then don't book too much, come and see what but, there is and like go into places and say, hey, do you have vegan food? It's not the first time this has happened. It annoys mm. me when it's on the menu and then you turn up and they Yeah, because you're like, oh, they're, you're catered for. Anyway, I don't want to moan, anymore because we're having a lovely yeah. time yeah. and um, it's and very maybe beautiful we'll here. Find somewhere that's I nice. think we're gonna find somewhere nicer, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> how about we go into the fleece that looks lovely and go get, get a drink. Yeah. Okay, they didn't have um, a table or vegan options, we just tried another pub. <gasps> Listen. Oh my goodness. We're back home, I've changed cameras, so if I look and sound different, that's why. We tried the pub <laughs> in the village, but it's a Sunday, so everyone stopped serving food um, because it's Sunday. So the Bear Inn, you screwed our afternoon. Um, so we're gonna get a takeaway. Thai Emerald though, it looks really good. We do still have leftovers from last night, but I think we're gonna take them home with us um, and Alex will eat them. I won't eat it because I'll be worried about it making me sure? sick. The lady in the pub said we could get another Indian takeaway and eat it in the pub. No. If that was me, I'd be all over that. No. Part of me is tempted to just have leftovers, but also is that, I don't know. We'll, we'll either have the leftovers from last night or we'll have Thai Emerald. And we're going to try and find a good movie and then relax and make the most of the evening. Can you think of any good movies? Let us know before we watch it. <laughs> I have felt pretty anxious the last two days. Not sure right. why, but... Nice and orange. Trying to, um, let's try and make the most of it this evening. Yeah. And watch something fun. We did watch Encanto last night and that was so good. Did I film that? I don't think I did. It was so no, good. I think we finished with the food. It was such a good yeah. film. Really enjoyed it. So I want to find something good like that and then um, enjoy some food. There was another Disney one that we never watched mm. about the dragon. Oh. But I've forgotten. Okay. Well, we'll let you know. Well, no, we'll tell you tomorrow what, what movie we end up watching. Yeah. 
But yeah, see you tomorrow. morning it's Monday morning we've driven to Bath and we just had a lovely lunch at the Green Rocket yep. and I had mac and cheese Alex had a katsu curry and we had some sides it was so nice so definitely recommend if you're in Bath we are stopping I hate motorbikes and scooters, they're so the obnoxious. They're so loud. We are just stopping by in Bath just to have a little wander on the way down. It doesn't actually, we've like driven like an hour and it, it does, definitely has added an extra hour to our journey, hasn't it? Because it's still four hours to home. Half an hour. I just thought I haven't been here. I don't think I've ever been to Bath or if I have done, it was a very long time ago. I don't think I've ever been. So we're going to have to come back properly, but I just thought it'd be nice to go have a little wander around, have some food and just sort of see what Bath has to offer. Maybe we'll get a coffee somewhere before we leave, I don't know. But we're just gonna look around, walk Roxy. Also, I think she'll prefer it, because she's, I mean, she's done something today rather than just been in a car. Roxy is chasing these pigeons. Roxy, no. Good afternoon, we put this light on. We are in Exeter Services, we left um, Bath a while ago, came home, we had a really lovely stroll, saw the Royal Crescent, let Roxy off the lead and it was actually really worthwhile, I'm glad we did that because it was lovely to see um, Bath on our way home, it kind of broke up the journey a bit. On the way up we've got Burger King, so on the way down I've got the KFC, I haven't had the vegan KFC I think in like a year. Um, I never get fast food, ever, but I feel like it seems like I do, maybe, I don't know, maybe it doesn't, whenever I do I share it, <laughs> but I've only had, yeah, I'm pretty sure, it, maybe even two years, it was during lockdown that it came out, I'm pretty sure, I remember getting it once for the first time and then maybe a ha one or two other times, the only thing is you definitely need sauce with it, because it's quite dry, they, that's the thing that it's lacking compared to the McDonald's and the Burger King, because they just put a little bit of mayonnaise in there and then a tiny, like, feeble bit of lettuce, and I feel like more effort should be put in. And their chips suck. Like these chips are like cold and I just bought this. I thought that they're just sitting there. But the actual chicken, it has the southern fried taste to it, which is what I remember from KFC. So we're a couple of hours from home. Roxy just had a little bit of a, a stroll around the little park at the services and gone for a little wee. And I'm looking forward to seeing the cats and being at home. <laughs> Alex just came back. He said to me he was just going to get chicken nuggets. Ah! That hit me right in the cheek. He said he was just going to get chicken nuggets. He's got 20 chicken nuggets and a burger. Is that right? Yeah. Are you okay? Is yeah. it because you're still in holiday mode? You're like, we need to make the most of it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Before tomorrow goes back to broccoli and courgettes and red peppers and mushrooms. Ah, 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 ah. Leave it in that tub. Oh, I thought you were going to pour it on top of them. Oh. No! <laughs> 
Oh, I'm definitely gonna steal all of these chicken nuggets. You've had your one. Don't be ridiculous, you got them for both of us. Mm -hmm.